Can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Uh, come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that made me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you moved, you'd be an eerie surroundings colored blob. And we little and see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Dorothy wants a piano woman. Simple enough. One piano woman. Thanks! I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good! That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know... Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. <laughs> Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was... Dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? <laughs> I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? 
Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell is going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <laughs> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Really? Yeah. I go to this house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year, he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second. Does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep. I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming right up. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. <laughs> yes, I'm single, and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. At a factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Set upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. Now you really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So, if I stop looking underaged, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. No, I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine with the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Welcome to... Uh... Does that happen a lot? Not really. Would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. 
call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. <laughs> Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud and one gut punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines and the other person after... well... After they've every <laughs> your fatty regardless of its original purpose? Ahem. Yes. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel? It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way, the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail! I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine. <laughs> See if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you. Please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gail! I need your girly hands for a second here! Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Ah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast. Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident.
hair? Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Chill. So you haven't been to a war? Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind what you just said. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn. I still don't know, then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break! Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. You could take a couple minutes more, you know? I'm fine, thanks. Now how did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. R right Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice. Nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if that's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Something like tea, or something not so bitter. Maybe girly and bitter? Here you go. Hey, I like this one. But didn't you say you didn't have tea? Well, it's not freshly made tea or anything like that. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miki. So, so, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira! M Miki? No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira! M Miki. Almost there. Kira! Miki! Kira! 
Miki! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! That's it! Are you feeling it? Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! Kira! Miki! And don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? R right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilum who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making less preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit... dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. Uh, I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many? But what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol, then. Ooh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything... soft? Soft? As in alcohol-free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. Something soft. Wonder if she means alcohol free or something else. Can I just say? Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Ah, uh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl. Oh, uh, for Jill, then. For Jill, Never Lose Your Star, from Kiramiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks! No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? 
Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one once protecting me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem? I just wish that they'd leave my underwear drawer in the same way they found it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same? No. Wait, it isn't! Yeah, you get me, Jill. Uh... Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they ask for your love is a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth a ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Well, let's see what I can find for you. She wants something bitter. Maybe to sober up a bit? Try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. No, I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kiramiki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music, and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Ooh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done! Alright. Feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. You're... huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I CRASHED INTO THEIR HEADS! Any reason for being red, specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? 
a client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and... Boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. 